Hello and welcome to Mathematics Made Easier channel. This is your favorite mathematics tutor, Comfort Amuakun Atta. Today, we are going to look at everything under rigid motion. Interesting, right? Great. So, now pick your gel test and pick your graph books as we go through today's class together. Before we start, let's look at the objectives for the lesson. So, by the end of the lesson, students should be able to 1. Identify and translate an object or point by a translating vector and describe the image. Number 2. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to identify... And explain and explain the reflection of an object the reflection of an object in a mirror line The third one is three. You should be able to describe the image. So you should be able to describe the image points of shape in a reflection.
So I'm going to take you through all these things together so that when you finish and you assess yourself, you should be able to go through all these things on your own. So now let's start the business for the day. When you talk about rigid motion, it means that when an object undergoes a rigid motion, its size and shape do not change. So let's write that one down for reference sake. So when an object undergoes rigid motion, its size or shape does not change. So in this case, translation, reflection, and rotation are all examples of rigid motion. So let's write the examples of rigid motion. Examples of rigid motion include One reflection, two rotation, and three translation. And we are going to look at these three these three examples reflection rotation and translation so examples of rigid motion when you walk from one place to the other you do not change in size or shape it's just the movement that changes when you swing a doll the size or shape do not change it is just the movement so in this case when you move from one place to the other it is rigid motion and under that we are going to look at reflection rotation and translation then we add transformation but for transformation the size and shape changes so we can put rigid motions under transformation. So transformation will be the bigger box that is our inversal set. And the rigid motion will be the subset under transformation. So all rigid motions are transformations. Great. So now let's pick them one after the other and treat them in details.
I believe you all have mirrors in your homes. What do you see when you look into a mirror? Good. That is your reflection. A reflection of yourself. And so we can say that the mirror forms the line of symmetry between an object and its image. So when you look into a mirror, you see your image in the mirror. So the mirror has formed the line of symmetry between you as the object and your image be reflected in the mirror. So let's write that one two down. So as we said, a reflection is the image is the image you see when you look in a mirror when you look in a mirror good therefore we can say that the mirror line the mirror line forms the line of symmetry the line of symmetry between the image or between the object and the image and the image good so with this we can also say that then when an object is reflected in a line the image point is at the opposite side of the line. You understand it? And the distance between the object and the image are, is equal. So we can also say that when an object When an object is reflected in a line, the image points, the image points is at the opposite side. It's at the opposite side of the line, which is our mirror line. And the perpendicular distance and the perpendicular distance from from the point of the line, from the point, the perpendicular distance from the point of the line is equal, is equal to the perpendicular distance 
is equal to the perpendicular distance sorry and the perpendicular distance please fix this one there so it's equal to the perpendicular distance from the image points from the image point to the line to the line and we call this line the mirror line or the reflection line so so the line is called the line is called the mirror line the mirror line or the line of reflection or the line of reflection so we can say that based on what we've learned that the distance so the line of reflection so based on this we that the object distance from the mirror line is equal to the image distance So that is the object distance the object distance from the mirror line from the mirror line is equal to the image distance also from the mirror line because the image distance from the same mirror line good so in this case we are going to look at some reflections okay the first we are going to look at is one reflection reflection in the x axis reflection in the x axis using our graph so reflection in the y axis reflection in the y axis three reflection in the line reflection in the line y equals x for reflection in the line okay so we look at this first reflection in the line in the line x equals two x equals negative two then reflection in the line 
y equals 1. Where well, this can be written as reflection in that line, x equals k. Then we have substituted our k with negative 2. You can also say that reflection in the line y equals k. And we have as well substituted our k with what? 1. So k can be any number. Then when we are done, we now look at enlargement. Enlargement from the origin O. Enlargement from the origin O. Good. Then enlargement from any point other than the origin. Enlargement from any point from any point, let's assume A B other than the origin. Other than the origin O. Good. So this will be your activities for the day. So get your graph books ready as we go through together. Excellent. Good. So before I take you to the various activities we have outlined, I will quickly take you to the part of a graph so that it will be very easy for you to go through with me. So let's see the part of a graph. Because we are going to use our graph sheet for these activities. So for a graph, you should have your two others. When you have your graph, we draw our two axes. So this, the axis or our horizontal axis becomes our x axis, whilst our vertical axis becomes our y axis. Then you bring your arrowheads showing direction. So these are my arrowheads. Okay. Then you have the center O. For your graph, when you stand on the center O and move towards the right direction, you are moving towards the positive values of X. So this side contains the positive values of x. So for example, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, depending on your scale. Then when you step on 0 and you move towards the left direction, you are moving towards the negative values of x. So this also contains the negative values of x. That is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on, depending on your skill. Then, when you step on the origin O and move upwards, you are moving towards the positive values of y. So standing here and moving upwards, we are moving towards the positive values of y. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Then standing on the origin, 
on the origin if i move downwards i move towards the negative values of y great so this becomes negative one negative two negative three and so on so these are the various parts of a graph the arrowhead your labeling of the others and correct numbering of the others then you bring your skill your skill should always correspond to the numbering of your others great so having gone through this we will now go through the various activities so the first activity we made mention of was reflection in the x others so activity one activity one reflection in the x others reflection in the x others or y is equal to zero so we are reflecting any point we are going to reflect any point in the x others and as i said earlier on when you are reflecting a point in the x others your x others becomes your mirror line your x others becomes your mirror line great so with this let's now go to our graph sheet good so i believe you have your graph sheet ready as i have mine here and i'm going to use GeoGebra to teach you the graph work so in this case we are reflecting point p to be two three so two on the x others and three on the y others so this is point a point a which is seen at the side to be two three that is the coordinate then we are reflecting this point in the x others so as i said earlier on when you are reflecting in the x others your x others will be your mirror line so in this case you ask yourself how far is my point away from my mirror line so going through this we are going to count one two three so one two three to land on our mirror line and the moment we land on the mirror line we count the same number of steps down which is one two three to land at the side okay let's move up a little but so you go for our movement two to move the point to be on exactly at three so we come here movement two then we click on the point okay let's come to the side two good we want our point to be exactly on the three but it's okay so let's clear it from there and do it again and see you have to make sure you have your point exactly so let's delete it you will click on it for long then a pop-up will show then you click on delete it is gone we still want this point so one two three then 
we come down the same number of steps so one two and three and three since the point two is not highlighted we won't get a point so we have to go and select the point two then we come and stand on three yes perfect we are on three so this is the image of a so the image of a is having the coordinates of two negative three so it means that when you are reflecting a point along the x axis the x coordinates will be maintained whilst your y coordinates will be negated very simple let's also reflect a point along the y axis so let's pick any point and reflect it along the x uh, sorry along the y axis so i'll put a point here let me come down i want it to be exactly on the point i want the point to have the coordinate to be negative one negative two so let's see whether we are going to have it so we select a point here then we click on it okay we are how we are having our coordinates to be negative one negative two and we want to reflect this point c it's good so we have our point c to power the coordinates of negative one negative two and we are reflecting this point c in the y axis So in this case, the y axis will be a mirror line. So you ask yourself, how far is your point away from the mirror line? Count till so you get the mirror line. So we have one point, that is one step. So since you only gave a step, you move one step forward again to land on the image so let's stand here let's make a point here good so we are having the image of c to be negative one sorry to be so we are having the image of c to be one negative two perfect with this we can say that for if you are reflecting a line a line segment or a point this was done because the point is so highlighted let's click on it for long let's give it a long press the pop-up will come and delete it since we don't need that point so whenever you are reflecting a point along any of the others that others will be your mirror line if you are reflected in the x axis, the x axis becomes your mirror line, and your image forming will be exactly at the opposite side of the mirror line. And it's going to have equal distance. So the distance of the object from the mirror is going to be the same as the distance from the mirror to the image so if you are going to move three steps from the object to the mirror you will move three steps down again to get your image great so we have done reflection in the x axis and reflection in the y axis i believe you are able to do it as well then we come to reflection in the line x equals negative two 
reflection in the line x equals negative 2. So with this, we identify negative 2 on the x axis. And this is our x axis, and we have the negative 2 here. So we create our point. Good. So we have the point shown as x equals negative 2. Then we pick a line segment. We go to our tools and pick a line segment or a line through two points. So I will choose a line segment between two points and draw a line through this point. Okay, so let's just pick a perpendicular line and see. We are exploring things. We don't need this point. Let's give it a long press and click on delete. We still want our line to pass through our point. So let's give a point here and join it through the point x equals negative 2. Great! So this now becomes my mirror line. Then we are reflecting the point we are reflecting the point 2, 1. So we identify 2 on the x axis okay so since we have a mirror line now we now identify our point and so we are reflecting it through point two one so this is my point two one two on the x axis and one on the y axis point two one has been created it is my line segment that is still active over here. So I have to deactivate it and choose the point. Okay, so this is point 21 as the edge. Then, since I have my mirror line now here, I now count the number of steps I will take before meeting the mirror line. So I have one. Two, three, and four. So I'll move four steps forward. The number of steps you take to meet your mirror line should be the same as the number of steps to get your image from the same mirror line. But we have to shift the graph to the side. So I'll choose my movement to and move the points to the side to get so many numbers so now let's select our points again and count one two three four so it means i'll move four steps forward so one two three and four so i'll land over here Good. So I landed on a point that's negative six one. So if you are reflecting a point through a line x equals negative two, you are going to get its image to be negative six one. Let's again reflect point. Let's again reflect point negative 3, 1 along the line y equals 1. In this case, the same as we did for the previous one, you identify your point. So let's 
locate our point on our graph sheet. Locating the point 3, not negative 3, 1. Negative on the x axis and 1 on the y axis. So we stand on 0 and move towards the left direction 3 times to land on negative 3. Then move up 1 to land on negative 3, 1 as the coordinate. So we make our point here. Great. So we have the point negative 3, 1. The moment you get this, you now find its image. So we are reflecting it along the line y equals 1. So we identify our mirror line, which is here. So the mirror line is here. Good. That is y equals 1. Or x equals 0. With this, I'll now choose my line segment. Then, draw any point here. Draw any point and pass it through my mirror line. Pass it through my mirror line. Okay, let's move the point from this side. We want the point to pass through, we want our line segment to pass through our point. So, we have to be very careful when drawing the point. So with this, we pass our line segment through. With this, so with this, we pass our line segment through. Good. Let the line segment didn't pass through a mirror line wall. Okay, our mirror line was negative 2. That is why with this, we pass our point B. So with us, we pick our line segment and pass it through our line of reflection, which is y equals 1. So this is our line segment passing through our mirror line. So this now becomes our mirror line. Then we identify our point, which is negative 3, 1. So since our point is on the mirror line, it becomes the final answer. So this becomes the image of the point given. Thank you so much for your time. I believe this tutorial was helpful. In my next tutorial, I'll continue with Reflection in the line y equals x and reflection in the line y equals negative x. Then we also treat translation. Then we come to rotation and enlargement. 
I believe you were able to get the image as well. Let's now go back and write the various points we used. Good. Welcome to our worksheet again. So we are on our graph. We reflected. On our graph, the first thing we did was that is what the activity one. We reflected point A as two, three in the X axis. And we had its image. To be. Two negative three. So with this we realize that. For reflection in the x axis. The s coordinates was maintained. But the y coordinates was negated. With this, we can say that in general, in general, if we have the coordinates of x and y being reflected in the x axis, we are going to get its image to be x negative y. Great. And the second activity we did was activity two. Ref that is reflection in the Y others. Reflection in the Y others. Reflection in the why others? The first activity was first activity was reflection in the x others. Great. So for that one too, we reflected points. C as negative one, negative two in the y others. And we had the image of C to be one negative 2. So with this, we can give it a general formula. So we can say that in general, if you have a point or a coordinate of x, y being reflected in the line or in the y axis, you get its image to be negative x y that is the negative coordinates will be negated while the y coordinates will be maintained then the third activity we went through was reflection In the line, reflection in the line, x equals negative 2. So we pick a point. That is point E as 2, 1. 
and we reflected it in the line x equals negative 2 and we had its image to be okay so with this we also gave it a general formula so in general we can also say that reflection in the line x equals k so you can substitute k with any number since k is a variable s equals k will give you the image to be so if you have x y that is the coordinate of your x and y others be reflected in the line x equals k you are going to get 2k minus x y so use this and go back to your graph and substitute the image over there then the last activity the last activity we saw was reflection in the line y equals one that's the fourth activity we went through so we reflected the point H as negative three one in the line y equals one and with this we had the image of H to be negative three one And so we came to the conclusion that when we are reflected a point in the line y equals 1, we can have it as Reflection in the line y equals 1 is so we have x y coordinates, we have x 2k minus y, and that is excellent. Those who were able to go through with me, bravo to you. I'll leave you with one question. So that you try your hands on it and you bring your answer at the comment section. Assignment. One. Using a scale of Using a scale of two centimeters to one unit, so why you need draw X and Y others for the interval. For the interval zero is less or equal to x less or equal to eight and negative six is less or equal to y is less or equal to six so i plot 
the point plot the point a as three one b as one one and c as one five and describe describe triangle a b c i i find the equation find the equation of a c line is i i i draw draw the image of a1 b1 and c1 which is the image of triangle a b c under the reflection under the reflection in the x axis in the x axis where a maps to a1 b maps to b1 and c also maps to c1 full stop indicate clearly indicate clearly the coordinates the coordinates of triangle a1 b1 and c1 thank you so much for your time i believe this tutorial was helpful please do not forget to like share and subscribe to this channel for all of your mathematics tutorials so we meet again please stay safe and learn hard bye